In the ever-evolving landscape of air combat, the ability to strike first often determines who survives the encounter. Welcome back to Redline Reality. Today, we're diving deep into the AI M120 AMRU Armor America's premier beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile and how this formidable weapon is shaping the skies above the Philippines in 2025. As tensions simmer in the Indo-Pacific, the Philippine Air Force continues its ambitious modernization program, and at the heart of that transformation lies one name, the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. It's not just a missile it's a game changer. The AIM-120, or OMRAM as it's widely known, has a combat-proven legacy dating back to the early 1990s. Fast forward to 2025, and the latest variants have evolved dramatically a faster, more lethal, and smarter than ever before. Now being integrated into the Philippine Air Force, this missile is set to elevate the nation's defensive posture to a level never before seen. Let's break down why this matters. The Philippines lies in a strategically vital region. With contested airspace and increasing activity from regional powers, air superiority isn't just a luxury it's a necessity. The AMRAM provides a decisive edge. With a range of over 160 km in its latest D variant, it allows fighter pilots to neutralize enemy aircraft long before a visual engagement even begins. Imagine a modern-day dogfight where your enemy is still miles away and already painted for destruction. Equipped with active radar guidance, the AIM-120 locks onto its target independently after launch. This fire-and-forget capability allows pilots to engage multiple enemies while maintaining situational awareness. No more babysitting missiles to the target. The AMRAM handles it. This missile is currently being deployed on the FA-50PH, the backbone of the Philippine Air Force's fighter fleet. While the FA-50 is technically a light fighter, bearing it with the AIM-120 turns it into a deadly platform capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with more advanced aircraft in the region. And let's talk accuracy. The AMRAM's onboard radar seeker homes in on its target with devastating precision. Once within kill range, its proximity fuse ensures a lethal explosion even without a direct hit. Whether you're engaging high-speed jets or maneuvering targets, the AIM-120 is built to finish the job. But it's not just the missile's technology that makes the difference here it's also the strategy. For the Philippine Air Force. The acquisition of the AIM-120 isn't just about deterrence. It's about redefining their air combat doctrine. With this missile in its arsenal, the PAF can now adopt standoff tactics of engaging enemy aircraft from long distances and denying them any chance of gaining air dominance. In a region where speed and range determine air superiority, the AMRAM's 4-second motor burn time and Mach 4 speed means an adversary has virtually no time to react. That's not just fast to it's faster than the response time of most modern fighter radars. This missile also integrates seamlessly with ground-based radars and allied AWACS platforms. That means the Philippine Air Force can benefit from shared situational awareness across the battlefield. A pilot in a lone F-A-50 might be guided to launch an AMRAM using data relayed from an American E-3 sentry hundreds of kilometers away. It's that level of networked warfare that transforms a small force into a smart force. And it's not only useful against manned fighters. The AIM-120 has already proven its capability against cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles in various NATO operations. That's a significant factor when defending against modern threats that are becoming increasingly automated. Now, critics might point out the cost. Each AMRAM missile can range from $1 million to $2 million depending on the variant and support package. But here's the truth, in air combat, 
the price of losing a pilot and an aircraft far outweighs the price of one missile. Precision and survivability are worth every cent. In 2025, with rising tensions in the South China Sea and increasing incursions into Philippine airspace, deterrence isn't just political it's tactical. The presence of AIM-120S on Philippine jets sends a clear message, the skies over the archipelago are no longer easy pickings. There's also the psychological factor. Pilots on the opposing side now know they could be locked on from over 100 kilometers away by a missile that gives no warning until it's too late. That's the unseen battlefield advantage here forcing hesitation and second guessing into every enemy decision. What's more, this is just the beginning. With talk of acquiring more capable fighter platforms like the F-16 or Gripen, the Philippine Air Force may soon operate even more advanced versions of the AIM-120, including the rumored AIM-120 D3. Each new integration takes the force one step closer to establishing credible regional air dominance. To wrap this up, the AIM-120 AMRAM is not just a missile in the Philippine arsenal it's a symbol of transformation. From training missions to real combat deterrence, from reactive defense to proactive engagement, the AMRAM changes the equation entirely. Redline Reality will continue to track how this powerful missile reshapes the balance of power in the skies of Southeast Asia. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications to stay updated as we dive deeper into the cutting edge of global defense technologies. Until next time, this is Redline Reality assigning off.